Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to be continuing our Motion 5 tutorial, so let me motion, let, let me launch my project here have a, that we saved on our desktop, <coughs> and uh, we're just going to load up Motion 5 here, and in this tutorial we said we're going to cover animations for text, and <coughs> it's, uh, that's what we're going to cover, <laughs> basically, um, and uh, there's actually a lot in Motion you, that you can find uh, probably, probably over a 20, 30, something, five, okay. So yeah, let me just jump right in. Um, we have two texts here that we created. We have our main cheesecake image, and we have our cheesecake text down below that we added some, uh, just a cool coloring to it. And if you wanna know more how we did and how we put the text in here, be sure to check out my previous tutorial, which covers how we covered and uh, how we put in the text in here. And we, the way we changed the color was when we went to inspector up here, uh, from file browser, we went to inspector. And if you don't have this window here, where you have all the file browser. It's just this eye at the bottom. You just click on that and it'll open up this browser. You have inspector and we change it to the 80s format. That's how we got this cool color. And then we also change the size to very large. So like I said, we're gonna go into and do animations. Now before you um, do the animation to text is you wanna select the text that you wanna put the animation to first. And then you're gonna go to this gear right over here, right by my click. Um, and then you're gonna see only these are a whole bunch of different animations that you can do to the text, like anim and <laughs> basic motions. These are these are like animations as in uh, motions, but the ones you're gonna look at is the text animation ones. Text basics, text continues, text energetic, text glow, text highlighter, text subtle. And uh, what we're gonna start out with the basic. We're gonna do text animation. I'm gonna go scroll text. Actually, no, let's go with something. These are pretty basic and very self-explanatory as well, but let's go with something actually pretty cool, like text energetic, and we're gonna go into like, we're gonna go marbles in. And marbles in means how the text enters into your uh, screen. And then you also got marbles out, which is how it exits the screen. So we're gonna go with marbles in, click on it, You'll and as long as we have the text selected, and as you can see, it put this extra in our timeline here, put in this marbles in animation into your actual project. So, and you can also see it in your timeline on the right, left hand side here, you can see it's under the cheesecake, and it's and it's gonna control the cheesecake text, and it's giving it an animation, which is marbles in, and it's also on your main, the layers, and you can see it on the layers here as well, it's under the cheesecake text so also on the timeline before i show you guys the animation is you see this i don't know, you can actually drag it and adjust how long you want the animation to last for now it has it sets the standard which is i believe uh like two seconds i believe it is the standard for the animation so we're going to leave it at two seconds and here i'm going to show you guys the animation just pay attention to the cheesecake here no oh, something went wrong um, it's not playing my project for some reason. Oh, because we had our project already at the end here. We had it all the way down here. I'm like, wait, what's going on? So I, you're going to want to make sure you're all the way at the beginning of your project. And we hit play. This is where we have nothing on our screen at the moment. And uh, actually, before I do this, I'm going to drag this out of the way. And I'm going to show you guys how our project began. Um, first, you can see here we got cheesecake. Our cheesecake pops up and we just got this. And then all of a sudden, uh, we have I love it pop up at the right hand side here. Now, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pause my project and we're gonna put the marbles, the animation in right at the beginning here. And now you'll be able to see the animation, what, the, what it does. And like I said, it's to the cheesecake text. So here we go. Now you gotta admit that's pretty darn awesome. <laughs> and there you go. That's how, that's like the basic animations you guys. And then you can click on it and hit delete. Now let's do an out animation for this cheesecake. So we're gonna, we're gonna click on here and then you can also choose when you select on the timeline here where you wanna put the animation. So I'm just gonna select right here because we're gonna do it at the end. I'm gonna select the cheesecake again. The cheesecake is selected and we're gonna do an out. And let's do something different. This time we're gonna do, we're gonna do a text, uh, we're gonna do a text uh, energetic again, but this time we're gonna do uh, tadpole out. That sounds pretty awesome. So you can see tadpole out. It should have actually put it out of my line here, but we're actually going to drag it all the way to the end of our 20 second project right at the end here. And let's play our project and check it out. Okay, here's that marbles in animation of the cheesecake, which looks pretty darn awesome. And then we're going to have the I love it pop up top right hand corner. And we also have the exit of the cheesecake and you can see it, it just top tadpole out. And that's pretty darn awesome, you gotta admit. 
and uh, I, I suggest you guys play around with this a little bit and uh, also you select the, you select the uh, animation itself you can see more options regarding it like in your inspector here um, you go to you go to the inspector and you can see the actual uh, the properties of it you can change like the duration the scale and the like how long the animation lasts and the parameter format and marbles you just play around with this a little bit you can actually see how it will affect and how it changes the animation as well and uh, this here you don't really need to worry about right now this is basically changes of how you want the animation to look like let me uh, go all the way to the beginning here um there's honestly so much i could cover with this but you see i'm gonna rotate it completely complete 180 no i don't i think that was like a 45 degree angle right there so i'm gonna play it and as you can see the text just completely flipped the 45 degree angle so yeah be sure to play around with that a little bit it really it will really help you and here's another rotation here this is a complete 360 here and uh like i said uh play around with this a little bit you'll find out the different things about it and that's the basic text animations and there's actually so many of these that you can do here and then next video we're gonna cover effects and what effects you can add to your video as well and uh See you guys next tutorial and later. Let my life be the proof.